Just do the usual reminders for the cameras at the back within two sections. The first one's for immediate use, the second one for 10.30 this evening. Jamie, we'll start with you for Sky Sports when you're ready. Thanks, Jordan. Afternoon, Nathan. Hi. Um, sure you had a good night's sleep last night after that performance. Um, the key really is trying to bottle that kind of performance and take it into the league, isn't it? Well, it's about keeping consistency, really, in in the, in the performance, whether that's cup, league, or whatever, because the two cup wins have been against Premier League sides anyway, so it's it's equivalent to Premier League games. I know probably the feel is slightly different, but the you know the, the levels of games have been Premier League games, so it's about just this is about continuity of performance. That's all we're looking for now. Is it a mental thing? Is it the fact that you went into both those cup games with the shackles off, if you like, and it freed you up? Or? Mm. Can you play that way? Well, we're going to try to play that way because it's what we've been building for. We we, we did it not to the to the extent that we did a Palace and well, the, the Fulham performance was, was level to the Palace performance really. It's just we didn't you know we, we didn't concede silly goals and and we took chances. Whereas um, uh, against sort of Man City last night, it was a complete performance. So the performance has been building really. So it's it's you know it's not um, something that's just categorically happened in the cup. What was quite clear in your press conference last night was that you've taken a lot of this criticism very personally in, in recent weeks. Do you think you need to develop a thicker skin and ignore some of the criticism? Is that going to I've, I have ignored everything really and I, I don't want it to be a big issue because uh, some of it's justified some of it's not I, I took umbrance to one thing really not not the general level if, if people people when, you, when you're in the, when you're in the public eye and when you do a job like like managers do you're going to get criticism regardless of, of, of what you do at every level you know so it's something so there's nothing to do with thick skin or not I think I've held myself with real dignity in, in, in terms of recent weeks and, and hopefully now coming through Is it difficult to block out though some of that? I don't hear it. I got to be honest. I don't hear it. I I I was informed about one incident. That's it. I I I don't hear it. I don't. Um. I don't read social media. I don't read press much. If 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 I'm honest with you, so I I block everything out. I, f I focus solely. have tunnel vision on trying to do a job for Southampton. You've spoken many times about how hard you've had to work to get the position that you're in. You played the facing manager at the weekend, who had a stellar playing career, and then within a couple of years found himself managing one of the biggest clubs in the country. They're two very different paths. Um, into the top flight and they you and Frank. Yeah, and look, I, I, I can only come for myself. I'm proud of my journey. I've had to work hard, I know that. You know, and I, I didn't have the career of, of a playing career that some others, but I, that's not to say that I, I, I don't want to test myself at the, the highest level as a manager. I, I, I tried to get to the highest level as a player. I, I wasn't good enough, but I worked hard enough to, you know, to, to make sure that I had a 23-year playing career and now I've, I'm establishing, a t I mean, 10 years into a a coach in a managerial career that, that I'm proud of and wherever that takes me it's God's will and look all I can do is, is try to affect my own my own journey and I'm proud of that do, Would you ever look at the likes of Frank Lampard for example when you were at Luton and thought it's not fair things come so easily to some people whereas the rest of us have to fight hard to get those positions Everyone would have had to earn it they don't just give it you would have had to show some qualities my first forage into coaching was when I was at Yeovil and I was player assistant manager or someone would have thought well, he's never done a coaching job Why? it was because I was in that position and they saw something in me Frank's first job was a wonderful job at, at Derby I played against his I, I managed against his Derby side so I never ever look at anyone else's career and that's the thing I took umbrance to I'd focus on my own I never comment about another manager never comment about someone higher lower level than I do. I focus on my own job and I try to keep myself to myself and and, and that's the way you got to. So Frank's, I'd never comment about Frank Lampard because he's, he's he's a real good guy and has had a wonderful career. Just one final one from me. Um, Charlie Alcaraz, is he available this weekend? Is that thing, all the paperwork done and everything? It should be, so we're just, just waiting visa things and stuff like that, but um, but yeah, we hopefully, hopefully is. Do you think the timing of your arrival in the Premier League as a manager has put more pressure on you in terms of Unai Emery coming back, Deservey coming back around a similar time with that European experience? Do you think that's kind of cast a bit more pressure on yourself? No, I think you come in as a manager, you have to get results, regardless of, of where you've come from, where you've got to get results, and that's the, the be all and end all. So wherever you've come from, if you don't get results, you you, you, you get criticism. And, and at the minute, I you know, 
take the Liverpool game out of it because I had one day. I'm I'm at fifty percent win ratio at the minute. You know, I've I've lost to three Premier League games, won all all the cup games, so I've won three, lost three. So I I need to improve the, my my ratio in the Premier League, and if I can do that, then then I, I'm sure the criticism will stop. Last night was obviously great for morale for everyone, but on Saturday there's going to be two sets of fans that are quite unhappy. Um, how are you going to deal with that at Goodison Park? These are very negative questions. I mean, to be honest with you, I, I, you know, um, uh, let's focus on on the levels of performance that we we are doing. I can't uh, uh, comment on Frank Lampard or comment on Everton Football Club. What I can comment on is is, is Southampton Football Club, and we we have a wonderful club here. Yep, they're a little bit disgruntled, but hopefully we're changing perceptions. Now, given time, we will change perceptions, and that's all it is. So I can't comment on on Merseyside fans or anyone else too grand and I and I'm not concerned about their fans, I'm only concerned about myself. So uh, you know I am positive. I, w- right, when? Right when? <laughs> when? Oh, okay. Seven billions of you before. Um, so thanks for your contribution to the club there. But in terms of this, how what's gonna happen on Saturday then how are you going to beat Everton? Well, apart from crystal ball, I, I, we're going to prepare a team that's going to go up there to win a football game. To win a football game, um, I've no idea what's going to happen yet. If I did, then you know, I, I, I'd be, I'd be in a different game. But um, we, we'll be as positive as we possibly can to try and win a football game. We know it's a difficult game away at Everton. Yep, they're in a difficult situation as well. Um, so look, we, we've just got to concentrate on ourselves. That's all I can do. All I can do is prepare Southampton Football Club to try and win a football game. I have tried to do that in the six games I've taken charge of. I've said I've been successful in three of them, not successful in the other three. So hopefully I can start getting above the fifty percent line. Thank you very much. Nathan, um, I know you can't comment on Everton and stuff, but I'm looking ahead to the game, thinking it's probably maybe good you're away from home because the pressure on Everton in front of their home fans at that sort of. Church of Goodison Park is enormous at the moment and I kind of think how important the first 20 minutes is for you, your guys to start quick and put pressure on them. Well, again, look, I, I can't comment on, on Goodison Park or anything. All I'll do is prepare a team to, to, to go out and try and win a game for Southampton Football Club. We will stick to our game plan. We, we will try to do everything we can to win that game. Everything we do, do tactically will remain in house, but but I, I think we're evolving tactically. I really do, and uh, um, and and as I said, I'm looking forward to the game. But it's uh, psychologically important. It's psychological as to get right as much as the physical side of it or the tactical side of it. And that's sort of both teams near the bottom. So there's, there's there's you know it's four pronged when you when you go into games like this, and you have to be right physically, you have to be right mentally, tactically, and physically. You have to be right. Um, and you know we've we've had a game. They've had the luxury of not not having a game this week, but. That probably could be a, a a real mental uplift for us, which which you know could defy the physical outlay which we did last night. But we'll look, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. And at five o'clock on Saturday, we'll 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 have we'll have a clearer picture. How much difference uh, has a week made the fruition, to see the the fruits of your labour come to fruition in two matches to go into this weekend? Because there's intangibles, aren't there? That like confidence and belief the players have. It. It's been a big lift, doesn't it? Uh, look, absolutely, it is a big lift. But the, the, you know, momentum can only be built in time, um, structure, and 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 real uh, sort of spirit and everything. We all can can only be built in time. It, it is no magic dust. There's no sprinkling there that suddenly everything's right overnight. It doesn't happen. But I, I just hope people see that that, that that there is structure, there is fruition, there is better performances, and and week in week out we are we are improving. And then we've got 20 games. So the important thing is not where we are now. It's important thing is where we are on 28th, 29th of May. That's the big thing. And I'm sure because at pretty much everywhere I've been, as a player, coach, manager, there has been an improvement in players, teams that that I've been in charge of. So look, all, all, all I can say is if, if I'm given if I'm given time and, and given the benefit of the doubt, I'm, I'm I'm insanely confident that we will we will be better. Just finally from me, Romeo Navia, slightly worried about seeing him go off last night. How is he? It's pre preempted. Sixty minutes was what he did. If we wanted, you know, we could have played him for ninety. Then we could have lost him for the weekend. But but with doing that and and using the squad and and being really sort of fluid and tactically aware that we were able to do that and 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 bring him off after giving him sixty minutes, we were able to give um, Miroslav Orsic a, a, a little run up, which would have done him. You know the world is good. I'm able to look after a few players as well. So, so look, it was a good night all around there because we were able to use the squad and and come through a, a really really tough game. Good news, thank you. Thank you. Okay.
Okay, then we'll move on to the section for the 10.30 this evening. Start with you, Jacob. Yeah. Oh, nice.